Good morning. It is just before five o'clock. Getting on trail. Hoping to do 23 miles today to Ebol Bridge. There's a uh, uh, pay for campsite there that has a general store and uh, you can get a shower and I think you can even do laundry. I, uh, I am just so in need of getting clean and uh, washing and more importantly drying my clothes. It's like fifth day in a row of putting on wet clothes, mostly wet from just sweating, which is disgusting. And uh, I don't think I've smelled this bad uh, the entire trip. So uh, hopefully I can do that. If I'm really tired and I can't make it that far, there's a uh, campground like three miles before that. That would put me in spitting distance tomorrow morning of getting there. You have to check in. You know, it's best to check in at 7 o'clock in the morning right there at Abel Bridge at the ranger station to get on the list to go up Katahdin because they limit the number of people that can stay at the Birch's campsite who are through hikers to 13. So you want to be one of the first 13, but you can't get there before 7 a.m. So my goal is to be there tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. one way or another. Do like 10 miles into the park tomorrow rest and then go up the next day let's see if i can do that uh i'll give you would you rather in the next clip tell you a little bit about the group of young ladies i camped with last night they were all there see ya all right good morning again i'm getting ready to go up i think it's pronounced nesunabunt nesunabunt mountain i think it's like 900 feet i should get a view of katahdin and then it should be the last <clears throat> climb before Katahdin. Uh, tell you about last night's uh, group at the uh, campsite, at the shelter. They were tenting. It was 12 young women from a camp in Maine. Uh, a 20 year old counselor, senior counselor, who happens to live in the town next to me at home. And I uh, went to private high school that's right down the street from us and then an 18 year old counselor and then 10 16 year old girls um they've been going to this camp for a pretty long time one of them said for nine years and they do these like outdoor trips uh, as part of the camping each year they're on a 18 day 200 mile hike through the northern part of maine so they go on a little bigelow and they're going to katahdin uh last year they did an 18 as I, so they're all the 16 year olds this is their last year at the camp so this is their big capstone uh hike and outdoor event for their time at the camp last year they did an 18 day uh canoe trip somewhere here in maine it sounded pretty cool and then i guess when they're younger they do shorter uh shorter hiking trips so that was pretty cool they were very nice uh they had tons of questions uh i haven't had a 16 year old girl 16 year old girls want to talk to me that much maybe ever <laughs> uh so that was pretty fun and um yeah and they get up early i got up 4 15 and right after i got up uh their counselor got up and started rousting them up and they had their they stay in three big uh tents that sleep four people each i'll, I'll show you a picture of that i didn't video them I thought that'd be a little weird but i did take a picture last night after they were all in their tents of their little tent set up i'll show you that so today's would you rather is would you rather camp with uh a dozen teenage girls or a dozen teenage boys at your campsite for the night think about that i'll let you know later see ya all right here's the view from the top of nesanabont mountain that's Namataka Lake. We walked around yesterday. And with the glare, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's Katahdin. Oh, it's only 16 miles away, straight as the crow flies, 35 on the trail. I got to get there. Hello. It's uh, 10 minutes to 9. I'm about five and a half miles in. 
and I am really having a hard day already. I am just, uh, I'm just so done. I think this is where I'm going with being wet. And it's not from rain. I'm just, the humidity is killing me and I just can't, I'm just sweat, a sweaty mess. Everything's wet. Uh, tried putting some, uh, tried taping some moleskin the inside of my left thigh where it's all chapped from rubbing up against the wet shorts. That's not sticking, it's falling off. That's gonna get worse. Uh, I got 17 miles to get to where I want to, 14 to the shelter that's before that. Uh, I'm ready to be done. I'm trying to keep a positive attitude, but I'm like hating the trail right now. Just hating this weather. I just needed a pair of dry clothes on for for an hour. I haven't even had a pair of dry clothes on for an hour in four and a half days. So, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm bringing it to you all live. Well, record it. But the ugly is it's rooty, rocky, buggy, muggy, and I can't dry out. Ooh. All right. On we go. And there is one more hill I didn't realize. There's rainbow ledges. It's just like a five or six hundred foot climb in, I don't know, six or seven miles. So I have that to look forward to, too. See ya. All right. I'm sitting at the rainbow stream lean to looking at rainbow stream just uh got some more water drank another liter had a snack and i'm trying to get the energy up to press on uh man my legs are dead i'm soaking wet and uh it's a rough one but this is a pretty little scene right here I'm gonna rest up for another minute or two and then uh push on. I guess I'm going across those two logs right there. Get across this little stream. Should be fun. See you later. Hello. I haven't been on a lot because I've just been grinding away. A little bit of pain. But I'm at the Rainbow Ledges. It's kind of the last hill I gotta climb before Katahdin. About two and a half or a little more miles from the herd shelter uh that's like 3.5 miles from abel gate i don't think i'm gonna push for abel today or abel bridge it's 2 30 i'll probably be at the shelter by four um the campground i wanted to go to closes at six so i don't know i'll see what i feel like when i get there i may just want to call it a day and rest my legs a little bit and, you know, a 13-mile day tomorrow versus a 10-mile day shouldn't be a big difference before summiting two days from now. So let me get up and over this thing and uh, figure it out. See ya. Well, I'm pretty sure that's Katahdin. I'm not 100% positive, but if it's not, it's a big mountain. And I bet I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm going up tomorrow. Probably right up that uh, right up that edge that you see that gets steep and flat and slopes down. I think that might be it. Hunt trail, hunt trail. Uh, we'll see. All right, let's go get it. Hello. I'm about four tenths of a mile from the herd lean to. Oh, going downhill. And uh, that's where I'm going to stop for the night. It's 3.49, so I should be there a little after 4. But just felt something I had a little bit ago. Feels like I got a, another blister. My left foot underneath my big toe feels like it popped. It's excruciating. The uh, chafing between my legs from my soaking wet shorts and... Undershorts is on fire, and I gotta get in my tent tonight and try to figure out. Oh my god, 
how to deal with all this stuff, um, if at all possible, or just suck it up for 20 more miles to finish this thing, 23, something like that. Anyway, I'll figure that out, let you know what's going on tomorrow. For the would you rather is, uh, would you rather share a campsite with a big group of teenage girls or a big group of teenage boys? I'm going to go with the teenage girls. Uh, the young ladies last night were fun to chat with for a little bit. And it kind of reminded me, my uh, my daughter, who's my oldest, uh, she has a birthday right in the middle, smack dab in the middle of college football season. And for her birthday a lot, we used to do a road trip with her and four friends up to uh, a Penn State game. And that was always a really good time. They were fun to hang out with. It was fun watching them go from middle school years to high school years, uh, which is kind of the age group these girls that were there last night. So kind of reminded me of that a little bit. It's slightly different, obviously, camping versus football. But uh, that's what I'm going with. And I will let you guys know tomorrow what the plan is. But uh, I think it's going to be a 13 or 14. I don't know. i got to look. I'm losing my mind right now with just dealing with the pain in my foot. So let me go deal with that and talk to you guys tomorrow. See you.